Good morning, everybody. This is Gardening Warrior Q, and I'm going to make y'all some dinner. <laughs> Not really. Uh, <laughs> this is actually some freshly <laughs> sterilized soil that came out of my oven, which was 350. It was in there for 30 minutes. It's still nice and warm, and I'm going to put it in some containers. <laughs> That's just my daughter Essie in the background. She's a little torqued off because it's it's her electronic time, and mommy has the electronic, and she only gets thirty minutes. She is autistic, so she doesn't understand that. She will still get her thirty minutes, but it's twelve thirty, and she's supposed to have it now. So that's why she's making all kinds of racket over there. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this nice, rich, warm, sterile soil into this container. And we're going to call what's going in this container J. It was delivered to me on the 12th of February. And it was actually kept in a warm um, spot in a brown bag. Um, and today is the 1st of April, and so we're going to plant it in this nice warm soil in this little plastic shoe box that has plenty of drainage holes and ventilation holes. And in a few weeks, that will make sense as to why it's got ventilation holes. Um, so let me put the soil in there. So there is our bag marked J. So folks, meet Jay. Jay is your standard organic store-bought sweet potato. And it's already starting all these little bubbles here are where it's going to grow more slips. There's some nice veins coming up the side. And then there's some already producing slips there. And we're just going to put Jay right there on top of that nice warm soil. And let it keep doing its thing. There's also H, which I will be showing you in just a minute, and K. There were three. And I do not use valves for uh, tubes, tubulars, or, you know, whatever you want to call them. I only use valves to label my hot peppers, so that's why they're H, J, and K. So... As promised, here's H. It's been in its bag since it was delivered on the 12th of February. There's its soil. Same soil mix. Part worm castings and half worm castings and half um, well aged compost with a tablespoon of my Espoma um my espoma fertilizer this does still need to be wet it needs to be moistened but I just want to get them into the soil before I do that so let's open bag H all right see how nice this is all these little pittings are where the the slips are going to come out of. There's a little bit one right there. Usually I leave them in the bag until they, um, they already have started doing the slips. But seeing as I see this is where they're pretty much going to come out of, I'm going to put that end up. And I'm going to cover it up. And yes, I cover mine completely. This is the best that I found. These give me this method gives me the best results. That's just one slip from one potato. All these slips are from one sweet potato that's under there. These sweet potato slips 
are from this is from one sweet potato that one's from another I've given away quite a few slips as well these need to be repotted that's why they're yellow um, this one here and I have been making sweet potato slips for about five years now um, oh yeah that's my lettuce <laughs> More sweet potato slips. These had the light on them all night long. That's why they're resting right now. That all came from one sweet potato. There's only two left in there right now. But then I've got all those. That are about to be put into a larger pot. These are all... I'm just growing these for the leaves. These... And the bigger pots are actually being grown for sweet potatoes. That's why there's only, I think there's three in there right now. Yeah, there's one, two, three. These need to, um, these need to be fertilized this week. There's some more down there. Two, I think there's three in there. Um, I just set that up last night like that. So that these little guys right here could get some light these are not just regular light bulbs these are high kelvin high lumens um grow lights and that's my lettuce patch those are black spanish radish this was winter sowing that came up uh, a little before i expected so <laughs> that's that story so as you can tell i have used this method of completely covering the sweet potatoes to grow the slips for quite some time and this is the best results I have. Um, I've tried the little experiment where you stick it in a little jar just mainly for the fun of my children because I come from a Mennonite and brethren family. We're farmers. My ancestors did not poke holes in sweet potatoes and Stick them in a jar, okay? We put them in the ground, and we covered them up. That's how you grow a sweet potato, no matter what anybody else tells you. So after I get the slips, the slips grow, I just take them off of the sweet potato, and I plant them in little cups like that until their roots get more established. And then I'll put them either in a bucket or in another container, depending on if I want to grow the potato or if I'm growing the vine for the leaves themselves so back to our growing adventure all right well my little one is getting very antsy so I'm gonna go ahead and water these this is not vinegar this is a well cleaned out container that has water that has been from, it was from the faucet but it's been sitting open for two weeks I'm fairly certain that anything that was bad in there is now gone. So we're going to go ahead and water these. This is why it's so important that you have drainage. Now remember, I just roasted that water i just sterilized it in 350 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes so i gave it a nice good soak and that's j and that's h um, I was going to go ahead and do the other one, but right now my Essie is getting a little bit antsy, so I'm going to go ahead.